Hey everybody, how is it going? This is Scramble from Emotionless Crypto Trading. And today is the first video of 2018 that I'm recording. So wish you a happy new year and wish you a rich one out of the crypto space, right? So I'm sure that's what you're looking at uh, and that's what you're hunting, right? So top three sleeping giants. It's the fifth video, the last one out of the series of this five. We had a large cap, medium cap, small cap, Asian and sleeping giants. You can find all those on my YouTube channel. So in no particular order, we get started. We're gonna be straight to the point pretty quick. We have a short explanation of every single coin right here. But before I get started, I just wanna make sure that um, I'm gonna run this. Um, all these cryptos have a high usability in the space in the ecosystem. So they do bring in a lot of value. That's why they were included here in the Sleeping Giants because they do have, from the price perspective as a trader investor, high probabilities of skyrocketing parabolically, minimum, minimum, minimum 10x. That's minimum. It can be 50, 100, and 200x for specific ones. But you know, we like to say the minimum based on the price, usability, future, and how the space ecosystem is going to move. These guys do represent uh, exceedingly high probabilities. Now, for every single coin that I've been uh, writing here down, uh, I've been doing my research of at least 60 minutes because that's how long it takes for me usually to do a, a research from A to Z using my filters on an ICO or a crypto that I do want to include in a top or I do want to share with people as a possible good um, potential crypto, right? So. Uh, definitely that's something to consider that I've been checking every single detail that you can see and you can find online in order to see this if it qualifies or not. Right. So we've got a first guy here, Nebulas, who wants to create a search engine that works across all blockchains to rank or optimize decentralized applications. Interoperability, users can search for decentralized apps across all blockchains. Right. So the wants to create also a domain name service like framework and open source search engine optimization or value ranking algorithm that measures liquidity, propagation or popularity interaction between smart contracts, uh, dApps and users addresses, right? So the ICO price was $2. The fundraising goal was set to $60 million, which means that's a 30 million circulating supply out of a total of 100 million. Currently, the price is sitting on $6. We're going to see the coin market cap page. $6 for a coin, which started at two bucks. It's already 3x, but this is nowhere near to be close as the potential of this crypto for 2018, right? So this is nowhere near to be close, even at 10 bucks, even at 15 bucks. I would buy big into nebulous, right? So I would not be worried about those kind of numbers at all. Uh, now, uh, you can definitely see that the circulating supply is kind of uh, a little bit smaller than what Bitcoin has as double because Bitcoin has a kind of a 60 million currently circulating supply. So as a double, that comes down to 32 million. This one has about 30 million, which is a little bit less then what Bitcoin has as double, of course. Then also Ethereum, which is around 90 million, right? So this is three times less than Ethereum's one. Uh, as a comparison for you to kind of realize that 30 million, two bucks or six bucks, mm, 10 bucks, that's nothing compared to what's gonna be in the future, including all the other facts that we definitely have to research on the white paper, potential of the coin, team website, uh, execution, people, and all that stuff, right, that you have to use as a filter when you do your research. There are many filters for sure that we have to implement, right? So that's the first guy right there. The second one, like I said, in no particular order, um, we've got SALT, which is a le SALT lending is blockchain backed loans. What that means is you put up your crypto assets as collateral and you get fiat loans in USD, euros, or RMBs. They have future plans to increase both the numbers of assets and fiat you can put and receive basically, right? So because of salt, you don't have to sell your assets in order to gain some liquidity. 
you can get cash for your assets and at the end of the loan terms you get your assets back so here's the idea nowadays we've got this uh, large uh, waves of ICOs going on every single day I've seen even in some days there are 15 ICOs going live which is happening and 80% um, of them are useless but that's kind of another you know idea so here with all these ICOs reaching tens of millions of dollars even millions or hundreds of thousands of Ethereum's usually what they do is as they need liquidity of course they have to dump their Ethereum now by using salt they can get this type of services while they get some liquidity for the ethereums right and then they can buy back their ethereum spicing that's pretty much all so this way the ethereum is not going to be dumped that much by all these icos which is happening today it's happening heavily today if we would not be affected that much by the ICOs of tens of millions of dollars dumped continuously even though the entire uh, volume is, is way higher than that but this thing with the ICOs is real, is affecting in some sort of way Ethereum's price and we do have to consider this part as well so salt is going to help that as, as well right so which is uh, something we definitely look after in the usability of the space and not only for that it can be used for thousands of reasons of course but I'm just showing a quick one regarding the ICOs in Ethereum right here with SALT. So what all this means is kind of a win-win situation with the loans. Uh, this is not predatory lending and with no credit checks needed. If a borrower runs away with cash, the lender can liquidate the assets. When the loan is paid back, the borrower gets their assets back. That's pretty much all, basically. If it's something like Bitcoin, most likely it would have appreciated a lot by the end of the term. So salt lending helps with both loans and savings, right? Uh, the ICO price was at 89 cents. Currently, it's rated at 12.26 cents, 12 dollars and 26 cents. Of course, the circulating supply is small again. I do enjoy and like cryptos with small circulating supply. Uh, and you definitely know that from my previous video presentations. Uh, the token has 120 million tokens total supply, but the circulating only 54. Um, we're going to look at the coin market page for this guys as well in the next minutes. Now, the third one right here is a crypto which cannot be purchased right now as I'm making this video, but they said they made some sort of announcement that we can hope at the end of January or beginning of February, we would be able to buy one chain if we want to do that, right? So currently they just had their ICO back a couple of months ago and currently it's not really available on the exchanges, right? So it's a cross chain platform for people to provide low cost, cross border, interbank payment and lending services. It's extremely popular. This crypto is very, very popular in the last weeks and the circulating supply 105 million tokens out, out of 210 million tokens with an ICO price of 34 cents, it's incredible, incredible high potential of 10, 50, 100x for this crypto right here. So, one chain uniting and connecting all blockchains, exchanges of cryptocurrencies, loans of cryptocurrencies, investment through cryptocurrencies, crowdfunding through cryptocurrencies, and all this stuff. Now, for all these projects, you can definitely find out more about uh, on their official website right here. We've got uh, we've got about Nebulous, which is sitting on 6.35 bucks right now. Uh, looking at the markets, you can see where you can buy this token. It has a lot of volume in the last 24 hours, $24 million, right? So we're not uh, sleeping here. We're definitely working hard, $24 million. Create sources. You can definitely see here even $100 million. This exchanges can provide you 100 million volume on daily basis without problems you just have to bring the token out there and it's going to happen at a certain point for sure in my opinion uh this is where we are with nebulas of course we do have a social social media link which can be found over here their twitter for the latest updates and of course their website basically which is this one right here uh the founder is the one who also created neo 
and it's something that you definitely want to know you can see all the details in the team section about that like i've said i've already researched about this detail so you just want to follow basically the official website for more details of the project if you want to see what is all around it salt is also on uh, great markets big tracks binance Hyobi. Um, so we definitely have this uh three exchanges which can provide tens of millions of dollars of volume on uh, everyday basis 46 million for the last 24 hours you see this one is ranked number 40 in the space but uh, considering the 652 million market cap which is extremely small for a crypto like this that definitely has a huge usability in the space of uh, providing this lending services um, i can definitely see this one above 100 bucks uh, in the middle of 2018 and so far so far above it just needs a little bit more promotion and adoption in the space so you have the ability to read around their website this is their official website but when you can always access this quasi their official website from here from this link you can always do that and uh, from the announcements you can always access their bitcoin talk forum page right so we're looking at their uh, twitter which is extremely active 14 hours ago, SALT is now accepting both Bitcoin and Ethereum. Apply for your loan today. It's free to register. Uh, and like I said, there are different type of accounts. You can get your um, account in joint member base. Here's a dashboard base, premier enterprise, borrow up to 10,000, 100,000, 1 million. You can definitely do these kind of things whenever you need some uh, liquidity, right? So it's always quite in my opinion not to sell your cryptos because the prices of each of these cryptocurrencies will go higher and higher and higher for the next months and years and if you do have the ability to get liquidity by not selling you can definitely uh, apply for that and you should apply in my opinion right because it's a blockchain backed loans hold your assets get your cash it works perfectly so the next one here the one chain is uh, currently having their website where you can definitely read a lot more about it but it's not really active and it's not present on coinmarketcap.com as of right now uh, once it's going to go live on the space and it's going to approach the exchanges it's going to have volumes and so on of course it's going to approach the coin market cap page and we will have a little bit of history right so here's their uh, twitter page which a bunch of followers for a crypto that they not really even started to be on the exchanges of course uh, like i said there is a uh, high demand for this already and there's a lot of people just waiting to see this crypto out on the exchanges so they can entry because the whitelist in the ico was pretty short and there were a lot of people depositing millions and millions so it was pretty quickly sold out and it was difficult to enter at that time so i'm sure that people will look to buy into one chain as it goes live into space as quickly as possible at a proper rate pretty close to 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 34 cents right so even if it's sitting on a dollar dollar fifty uh, right right away after it goes out on the space it's still a good deal considering to what's going to come for this one as well as the high demand for it right so uh you can definitely read about these three guys a lot more on their white paper roadmaps team uh social media what people say forums reviews and so on so on walk from uh from a uh content to the other to find out more and see if it's really worth it or not for yourself right this was my top three sleeping joints because we're expecting big money high return a high roi from this guys in 2018 alone let alone 2019 which is probably going to be pretty good but today is just third of january so we're gonna focus on 2019 right so that's pretty much all about this video presentation thank you so much for watching feel free to subscribe on my youtube channel because i'm pulling out a lot more videos in 2018 as i did before and i'm a kind of market analysis guy so i'm going to share with you a lot of this market analysis I'm trying to stick around this ice seals and trying to stick around cryptos giants sleeping giants all these ideas that could kind of help you to make investments if that's the the, the way to call it and pull out some great profits because that represents the freedom as of right now so thank you so much once again you can find all the useful links in the description area thank you so much and talk to you soon